speaker is, now that we're talking about youth, our next speaker is Christian Buendia, a young member of our community from the BU Innovation Lab, who is trying to change his world and his city by pursuing his passions of soccer and film. Christian challenges us to see our city as something more than just bricks and mortar, to see it as a home where people learn to share relationships and resources. He asks, what if you had a voice? And today he's providing that voice, offering us a different way of viewing the front range. Please welcome Christian Wendia. I was very angry. I felt like I was alone. I felt like I had it was me against the world. Then it was I was given time and space to become myself. At first, all I really wanted to do was travel the world and play soccer around countries where I've never been before. So I started learning the language of the first countries where I wanted to go. Then I wanted to show my vision for the city to the people in my city. So I started making my visions come true on Google SketchUp. I started, when I was messing around with the Google SketchUp, I thought, how cool would this be if I could actually give my Google SketchUp to somebody and we actually build this? And so I started getting into architecture. And then me and my friends, we like to share what we do and I'd like uh, we started making videos because that was the best way to share what we were doing. So I started getting into videos and videos just became a big part of me. I love music and I love YouTube videos. And YouTube videos taught me how to dance and it taught me how to play the guitar a little bit. Uh, because of all the time and space that I was given, I got to make some really awesome connections. Because of all these awesome connections, I got to do some really cool things. Some of them are like, I went, got to go to New York and it was a great experience. I got to do some yoga. I've done some glass blowing. I've done some backing. I've got to dream a little bit. I even got to do a little soccer. When I was first given time and space to actually just become myself, I abused it. I, it seemed too good to be true. It seemed like it, it wasn't real. They were giving me time and space to be myself. I don't regret abusing it. If I wouldn't have abused it, I wouldn't have got to the point where I realized, wow, they're actually believing me. They're actually they're here to support me, and they're actually here backing me up no matter what I do. And when I finally got to that point where I felt like I had freedom and people were believing in me, I started becoming myself. I started doing amazing things. Who I am, I feel like I am soccer. My soul is meant for soccer. A lot of people, probably you guys, you guys probably see soccer as it's just a sport. I see soccer as a lot of things. To me, soccer is a dance. It's a love. It's a passion that I cannot describe to you guys with just words, but it's so many things. The fact that I could go to Africa, play with kids who are on a day-to-day struggle, and we get together every single day and just play soccer, that's the soccer I love. The fact that I could go to New York City and play with people coming out from work and just forgetting about all the stress that's around them, and then just get together and play soccer. That's the soccer I love. I also love the soccer, the fact that it's competitive. I can strive to be the best player in the world. I can strive to become better by myself every single day. All these aspects of soccer are what I love. When I was given time and space at the BU, uh, the, just given time and space, my bond with soccer just grew bigger than anything I have ever had before. When I had time and space, I got to witness a lot of my friends not get that time and space, and a lot of them not being themselves, and being in a group of people who really weren't themselves, they were stuck in a place where they felt like they had to prove things. They felt like they were trying to, they, they had to try, they were trying to show people that they were amazing. When in our reality, people are amazing, and they don't really need to prove anything. But in people, when you pull one kid out, out of a group in the school, you, it could be the worst kid, and you think that oh, that kid will never be amazing. You pull one kid out, and you really get to meet him. You give him time and space to be himself. You get to meet that kid, and you get to meet, and then you get to figure out, like, dang, you're amazing. All I'm saying today is, imagine the potential if every kid, every person in our city, 
was given time and space like I have been to become themselves and just go unleash into the city and make the city theirs. The different vibes, the different feelings everybody in the city would feel just because they were a part of making their city. I may not have a test to show you guys, a grade to show you guys that I'm a smarter, better person, but I am now myself and I am happy. And so thank you for coming out and listening to me. This, is, this means a lot. Thank you.